Hello, I'm Dennis with Zamanda, and today's how-to is how to download the Amanda Enterprise Server and Client Binaries from the Zamanda website. We're also going to be discussing the installation as well. The Zamanda Management Console is a web application that supports Amanda Enterprise on the latest versions of Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. ZMC manages all backup and recovery activities. It is integrated with the Zamanda network, which provides certified Amanda Enterprise binaries, white papers, demos, and technical support to deploy a backup solution. ZMC provides an easy-to-use tool to manage all backup and recovery operations for multiple clients and various databases. ZMC helps in all day-to-day -day backup activities like configure backup policies, schedules, and clients, verify configuration and client-server communications, start immediate backups, monitor Amanda Enterprise activities, and access is reporting about backups and media, create, edit, delete users and backup sets, restore files, of course. To download the software, place a request for a free trial license from the Zamanda website, www.zamanda.com, which we have here. There's a start your free trial button. You'll enter your contact information and Zamanda will go ahead and issue a license so that you can download. And to download the software, place a request for a free trial license from the Zamanda website and fill in the details in the required form. Once this is done, you can select the required packages for download and then copy the same into the Zamanda server where you wish to install the packages. To install ZMC, please download Amanda Enterprise Edition with the Zamanda Management Console, which is available from the Zamanda Network Downloads page, which you can find here. In this case, we've got version 3.6. We've selected CentOS 7 as our version, and we'd go ahead and download it here. I've pre-downloaded this one to save watching a download happen. The package includes the Amanda Enterprise Server, Zamanda Client for the server, Zamanda Management Console, and you will need to provide all of the dependencies for the Zamanda Management Console. Before installing, make sure that Zamanda Backup Server should have access to the media, tape, disk, or changers where the Zamanda Client backups will be stored. The server should have good performance and network speed. Some of the requirements are at least two gigabytes of disk space on the installation disk. The Amanda Server and Client OS must be up to date. The Amanda Server and Client cannot be installed on NFS mounted file systems. At least 10% of free space should be available in the Zamanda installation and temporary directories. The Amanda backup user should have privileges to have crontab entries to perform scheduled backups. Should also have permissions to read and write to disk and tape and should have permission to read and write to the temp directory on the Amanda server. Additionally, the directories Etsy Amanda and Etsy Zamanda must be on the same file system and the clients must have open inbound TCP ports 10080 and 10081. Internal firewalls and SE Linux policy must not prevent PHP processes. Program dependencies in Linux. There are some dependencies that you will need to download and install prior to downloading and installing the run file that you would have downloaded here. So we will go over to our trusty shell and we will also go to our target. So this is our target system here. This is our local host. Right now you can see that we've got nothing in the root directory. So we'll need to copy the run file over to that directory. And we'll also need to install the dependencies that are necessary. Let's get a start on the dependencies. We're gonna to want to install tar. In this case, it's probably already installed and it actually wasn't. So we're going to install tar, Perl, We're also going to install Chili Tar, S Tar. And these next dependencies that I'm going to install, I'm just going to copy and paste because they are far too long to actually type in by hand. This list is available at the link that you'll find at the end of this video so that you can do the same. Here's the first long set. You can see it doesn't take very long, even with these long strings, to install all the packages necessary. And this should complete here in just a few minutes. All right, that's got those dependencies. Now we'll put the last dependencies in. Do the libraries. And 
And if you're going to use a tape library on this, be sure to install LS SCSI MTX and MT. Okay, that does it for the required executables. Let's go ahead and exit this, the shell. Let's go back to our local one now. Let's copy the run file that we downloaded to the host where we're just working on it using SCP. All right, so that got the run file there, the license file there as well. We'll copy that into the Etsy Zamanda directory, the Zamanda licenses there. And so those are all the prerequisites necessary to go ahead and install the Amanda run file. So let's go back here now. And there's our Amanda Enterprise run file. And let's go over to our target machine here. This is a virtual machine. And let's go ahead and run the installer. Need to put SE Linux in permissive state, accept the agreement, accept port 443, and we're ready to start installing and a warning to not exit out with control C, because that'll leave you with a partial installation, which is very difficult to recover from. Uh, you'll need to involve the technical support team at Zamanda to do that. And it's creating the uninstaller and it completed successfully. And at this point, we can go ahead and launch the Zamanda Management Console. The authenticity part is OK. So let's go ahead and open up a browser here. Type in the address of the local host, 127.0.0.1. It'll tell you the connection is not secure, but that's OK. Go ahead and add an exception to it. Confirm the security exception. And there's your Zamanda ZMC admin admin. And we're all set. And the warning message at the bottom is fine. We'll take care of that. And that takes us into the ZMC and we're ready to go. So uh, please follow the above steps. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact our tech support team at zsupport at betzel.com. Thank you for watching.